Hi and welcome to Ickham Road. Uh, apologies for the long time since the last video. Uh, I've not been very well so uh, it's a case that this had to stop for a bit and uh, but uh, I'm getting a little bit better. So it's a little bit bunged up today. All the, wet, all the uh, horrible bugs are around aren't they? So uh, but yeah very good. So the idea today is we're going to start doing the ballasting around the track here. It's the first time I've ever ballasted um, and I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube uh, to to help me with that, which is uh, really really good. Uh, some really good stuff out there for, for you to follow um, and learn from. Uh, one thing I have noticed with the track is it does seem to be quite wide, and as the trains are going round, there's quite a large gap um, between uh, the actual uh, the actual trains, plus where all the bushes have, have sort of moved across. From uh, from the scenery, it's also meant that it's a little bit close as well to the actual um, track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop uh, a couple of sleepers off at the end of of here. Uh, we'll shunt the track down a bit, which will bring it in closer on the curve. Um, it's okay at this end. It's just the middle part and the start that's quite wide. Um, so we'll do that. And then uh, we'll be able to start ballasting. I'll just uh, start lifting it. I'm going to use a chisel to start with, just to pop it under, mainly because it's a really wide um, area, which means that you're lifting a number of sleepers at one time. So the pressure's not all on the on the one nail. So we can just take those out. So it's always handy to actually um, run your, when you do little sections of it, is to run your model railway for a bit to, um, to make sure that everything's right before you start gluing it down or uh, nailing it down permanently doing the ballast, that's why I didn't do the ballast straight away I know some people like to do the ballast as soon as they, they've got to put the track down I just wanted to run the track just to make sure that um, everything was working, everything was working well and there was no problems with it before I couldn't change much or it was harder to change what was going on should put up one more there. We should have enough movement to take the track off. And say so bye. Just one to come off here. Okay, so just a little bit more space there. So by repositioning the track, you can then see how much more needs to come off, and then that's a bit further away already. Um, from the landscaping, from the bushes and everything, and the gap's a bit more realistic um, with this. So we can then just look at that, you know, looking at this, it doesn't look like there's much to come off, maybe one sleeper at the most. Yeah, probably one sleeper to come off. So I'll just Take that off. And uh, right, so I'm just going to chop one sleeper off. So I cut one section, as you can see there, I've just cut one of the track ends that needs to be shot, uh, filed off to make them uh, level, but just to make sure that we're in the right area. <clears throat> and then 
looking at that looks a bit better. And let me know where we need to cut that one. So we don't cut it wrong. So we just check to make sure that that's all lining up all right before we file it down. Just need to get the uh, needle files just to uh, file off and level the track off. and then connect it up just to make sure that it's all in the right position. Really good. I'm just going to look from a distance, it seems to be a much nicer sort of level of curve to do. I always take the widest either truck or train that you have, put it right on the end, and you can just draw a line to make sure it's not there. And then coming the other way. You can also see that it's not touching. And there's a good centimetre and a half gap between those two so that looks looks like it's good so now we can nail these back down in the new position I'm just going to do every other one to start with so that I can make sure that it's all going in in the right shape let's put the joiners on Just make sure that it's pushing in nicely into it. Oh, 
Lovely. They're all pushed in well. Because once the ballast is down, you won't be able to adjust it. Not without pulling everything up. And it will make a big mess. Put the last couple of extra ones in. Okay, so now we've got a lot more space over this side and that looks a bit more realistic to how the trains actually would come round. That's all back down, all nice and solid. Perfectly happy with that. Oh, one with a pin there. Anyone else needs one? And there, perhaps. There we go. So, now on with the ballast in. So always recommended to try it, first of all, um, with uh, a little bit of track and a board just to make sure you're getting it to what you want. There's loads of different types of uh, ballast that you can actually use. I've gone for just the uh, track ballast grey and it's a fine, um, sorry a medium even, a medium I did wonder about a fine, but I wondered if it would look a bit too small with the with the tracks. But uh, say first time of trying it, it's always a case of trial and error with a lot of things. And um, so we'll just uh, run this down. If it looks all right, then we'll do it for the rest of the track. If it's not, well, then we'll have to uh, rethink it and try something either a bit smaller or a bit larger that's more um, in keeping with the actual look. So I'm just going to turn the power off to the to the actual track because we don't want that live while you're doing this make sure it's always turned off so uh, I have my if I can find it wherever I put it I have my ballast uh, applicator just runs along the track with the three grooves or th sorry two grooves for the track and then three holes for the ballast to come through. So it's just a case of filling up the section and just running it through and letting it fall into the right areas. So I'm just going to have a quick sweep to make sure there's nothing on there. And we'll lay that down and we'll then we'll 
then uh, moisten it when it's down and then add the glue later to make it look better. So, first things first. To work out where you're going to start, I say make sure that the power is turned off because you don't want the water with the electric, so it's not going to do it much good. Slowly along the track. As you can see, that's quite. There's quite a knack to uh, to doing that. There's quite a lot of excess on the thing, but we're gonna just spray it down with some soapy water, a couple of little drops of soapy water, or washing up liquid, and then water added with it, and then onto a onto a sprayer. Just obviously, make sure that. change of the colour instantly of what's what's on there and then we can just press a little bit of the excess into the next bit. So I've just uh, started cutting the cork away in the middle, which I should have done before, to give it the raised shoulder that they have on the side of the, of the track. So I'm just 
doing that. Centre part of the cork cut out. Which will now allow for the, the XF ballast to and we can do the So cutting it a little bit, just a tiny bit off of the other side as well. This is another reason why I didn't glue the corking down, is that you then have and as long as you cut it well it will come away nice nice and clean. A nice sharp stand knife craft knife. It will come off, you can just brush it straight onto the Just start to brush that into the gaps and we'll fill that later with more ballast. Make sure you're covering as much of the cork as you can. Into the middle. There we 
can just cut the other side as we're going to do this side. It's all cut quite happily. Just going to put a few dollops of glue under here just to hold it for the moment, and we'll glue it properly down. It will slowly set itself down.
Is it laid on there? Okay, just for the little sprinkling of Need to go over that first one again. Okay. This may just it's putting the shoulder back on the track. Some PVA and water just to, uh, to glue down what's there. So we'll just do a quick spray of the new bass we put on. And we can make up the glue. So I've now uh, made up the mix. What I'm going to do quickly is just work down the track to move all the excess ballast. That's uh, that's in the centre and on the sides. And you can get the, the shoulders looking a bit more realistic. Making sure there's no cork showing. And then just sort of brush it off of the brush it off the track. Little extra bits of cork. You certainly don't find them on the railway line. If it's not quite right, you can always go back and deal with it afterwards with adding a little bit more or taking away if there's too much of the Make sure that's all clear. shoulder to make sure and it's all covered and away from the rails itself
that looks a little bit better. Just a few bits to finish. So now we'll go on with my 50-50 mix of PVA glue and water and a little syringe and then we're just going to run it Don't worry about it looking at it like this because it will dry clear. And also along the shoulder of the track. on the other side. Case of taking your time with it all and oh, not rushing like I just did then. Let's see if we can. That's a, be an area to work on afterwards. Just slowly dribble it, dribble it in. Track. As you can see, the starts already the glue's starting to soak away into the into the ballast. A point where you can nearly not see the white. doesn't matter if you put too much on because it will all soak up into the ballast, the cork, into the wood.
so there we have it that's the track all done there's not a lot else I can do now it's a case of letting it dry see how it looks in the in the morning and uh, and then go from there so there'll be some little fine touches up to do on it but I'm quite happy with how it's it's gone you can see the majority of the sleepers at the moment where the uh, glue soaked through um, and it might just be a few bits of uh, ballast to just brush off the or chip off the uh, sleepers in the morning once it's dried or maybe I'll do it in a few hours before it's completely dried so here we go to the finished uh, Palestin looks a bit sort of messy close up at the moment but uh, hopefully it will uh, dry out nicely and look a bit better and I can just tidy up the areas that do need fine tuning I apologize the imagery seems to be a bit bad I don't know if it's struggling with all the different colors on the screen but, but uh, Yeah, there we go. there's a better image of it. it. Seems to be picking it up a little bit better as it goes around. I'm going to say the track actually seems a little bit better and a bit more uh, the right sort of scale of distance away from it. So, but uh, as I said, this is uh, this is my first attempt at ballasting. Quite happy with uh, how it's gone, and there's quite a few errors I'm sure that you lot will uh, notice, but. I say any help will be appreciated and that means the next section of my ballasting will get a little bit better hopefully uh, but uh, thank you for watching hope you have a, a lovely rest of the day and uh, keep safe and keep well take care